Yeah, wonderful. And it is, uh, well, Series 25 is a very good update. So I'm going to hand it over to you guys immediately for the festival playthrough. And uh, I'll have a chat with you in a minute about some more stuff. Fantastic. Take yeah, let's away, Dave. Playlist. <laughs> Fantastic. So for series completion at 50%, this time you're going to get the Lamborghini Diablo GTR and at 80%, the 1992 Toyota Celica. But moving on to summer, at 50%, you'll be getting the BMW E92 M3 GTS and at 80%, the Rover SD1. Now for our photo challenge, we've got hashtag horses for courses. Take a Ferrari and take a picture of it with the Uffington White Horse. If you don't know where that is, it's, where you, it's near where you get your first house at Horizon, uh, kind of near Broadway. Also, looking at the trial, you've got the chance to win a Lamborghini Veneno with the Get Hyper trial. But we have a brand new showcase remix. It's called Quaint Village Rush. Now, you might recognize the Shen scenario versus a plane kind of harks back to something we did in Horizon Australia. And that is exactly what this is. So um, it kind of speaks into the theme we'll be doing for the festival playlist. But make sure you check that out and have the Shen scenario versus the Delta Wing. Uh, you'll also be able to get the Bentley Continental Fort Edition in the Summer Games as well. Fantastic. So, for the cult following season event, you'll be able to get the Volkswagen Notchback. But more importantly, we have our new exclusive car, which is the HSV GTS. And you'll be able to get that by completing the Down Under season event in summer. So, make sure you check that out. We'll be talking about that later in the stream. Also, you've got the chance to get the Ford Raptor in the Green Meme season event. Moving on to autumn at 50%, you'll be getting the Porsche 718 GTS and the Mercedes-Benz GT4 at 80%. We've got a photo challenge here, mill, hashtag milling around. You've got to take a picture of your car with the Broadway windmill. Now, what's really cool about this one is the Broadway windmill can be seen from miles out. So really looking forward to seeing how creative you get with this one. As always, make sure you, you uh, upload these to your socials with the hashtag so we can have a look at them. It's worth saying we absolutely love the stuff you're sending through at the moment. We have another showcase remix. So this is called Freight Expectations Round 2. Now, if the other showcase remix from summer was a heart back to Horizon Australia, this is also another heart back as well. So you'll have the Chevy Camaro versus the Flying Scotsman. And the kind of story behind this is that the, the train driver at Horizon Australia wants a rematch. You know, we, we, we beat them and showed them that the Chevy Camaro wins and reigns supreme, and we're going to do it again at Horizon UK. You'll also get the chance to get the BMW M5 Forza Edition as well in the Autumn Games. Keeping up the puns, we have Diagon Rally with the 1994 Toyota Celica. You've also got a chance to win the Chen Scenario, the Surface Paradise season event. So if you liked driving it in the Showcase Remix, make sure you check out that. But again, another exclusive car. This time it is the Holden Commodore VL Group A. And you can get that by doing the Holden Your Horses season event. Again, we'll be talking about that later in the stream. For winter, at 50%, you can get the ATS GT, and at 80%, the Porsche Emery 356. Our photo challenge, hashtag digging it. Take your rally monster, go to the quarry, take an awesome picture, make sure you put it on socials with the hashtag there. You've got a chance to get the Mercedes-Benz X-Class, and that is from the tobogganing trial. And we're bringing another showcase remix back as well, which is the Ride to Anywhere one, where you have Aisha's Taxis versus the Behemoth, the big hovercraft, because that's exactly what we do with taxis at Horizon, and I absolutely love it. Of course, we've also got the chance to get the Koenigsegg CCGT in the Midnight Battle season event. We've also got Blizzard Mountains and Like a Boss season events, uh, just sort of harking back to Horizon Australia as well. Fantastic. And here it is, the HSV GTSR 50% for spring completion. That is another new car we are adding to the game, and we can't wait to talk about these later on in the stream. At 80%, if you want another Porsche 356, make sure you get that one. That is the Gmund SL version. Um, so you see which one you like best. For our photo challenge, hashtag not garden variety, you need to take any cult car and take a picture of it at the Mortimer Gardens. 
And there's also a chance to get the mini John Cooper Works buggy in the Fire Saga trial. Now, this trial has you driving around Edinburgh in minis, and that's kind of harking to a movie you might have recently seen, which is quite cool. And we've also got another showcase remix, which is the Commuter Blues. Now, this time you'll be racing the Flying Scotsman, but this time in a Porsche. So we've got four showcase remixes to this festival playlist. Uh, two of them are brand new. With the greatest hit season event, you've got the chance to get the Porsche 906. Um, but I have to, I have to put some focus on this GT Phone Home one here. So we have this set <laughs> of playground games that the gameplay comes first and the pun comes second. And there is a hot debate as to whether which one comes first, but ultimately it is the gameplay that comes first. But there is always a rare time where the gameplay and the pun mix together in such a way that it's like striking gold. And that's exactly what this GT phone <laughs> hopes. So you get the alien morph suit. Um, and as you can see, the picture has someone in the alien morph suit on the phone behind a G in front of a GT. And I have to just a bit of a shout out to Matt Monk and Aid for the photos and the puns there because that it probably won't get any better than that. Um, <laughs> and then for the monthly rivals, we've also got a chance you can get behind the seat of the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker as well. Um, and that brings up everything for Festival Playlist. So really, really exciting. We know that people have been asking for cars from Australia. So what we did, we thought we put in three Holdens, two showcase remixes that hark back to Horizon Australia and loads of season events. Play that that also... You can just go on the store and hit download on this and it doesn't cost you a thing. There you go. Lovely stuff. Now, diving back into the stuff in chat, I know that they're really interested in, and that is a deep dive in these brand new cars. We've got a three-course meal of them coming up. So let's get started. All right, so first up, this is the Holden Commodore Group A SV. So it's a 1988 Holden. Uh, this was built um, by Holden at, at the formation of the HSV Mark, which is Holden Special Vehicles. And it was intended to compete with the, the BMW M Series and the Mercedes AMG Series at that time in the touring cars. Um, it, it did OK at that point. Um, the BMW M3 really was dominant, so I think getting any wins under its belt in that in that space is to be commended, and it did. It did manage to win a few races, so it's not a, it's it's a it's a pretty good car, all things considered. Uh, it was nicknamed the Plastic Pig um, due to the fact that again, this is the late 80s and cars weren't really made out of carbon fiber yet. So you kind of if you wanted to go for a lightweight body, you could either have plastic or maybe carbon fiber. Uh, and this was mostly made out of plastic. So it was nicknamed the plastic pig. And I like to think that that's probably a, a very affectionate nickname rather than a, a mean one. <laughs> yeah, I think there was another name for it as well. There was probably this mean, which was the uh, the walkie which was nicknamed after the main designer, Tom Walkinson. I'm pretty sure Walkie is the, the you know, that's, that's definitely named after him, not the plastic pig, for sure. Yeah, and it was actually, as much as it's very much an Australian car, Australian engine, uh, this body kit was actually designed in the UK, just a few miles from where I'm stood right now at Playground Games. So a real perfect car to slot into Forza Horizon 4. Definitely. Shall we get uh, your... queue up the next one? Oh, go just... on, Dave, sorry. Yeah. If you complete the Holding Your Horses seasonal event in autumn, this car will be yours. But yeah, so make sure you check that out. Let's move on to the next car. So this is the HSV GTS uh, 2011. Really cool car, got 436 brake horsepower, a 6.2 litre V8, 0-60 in just under 5 seconds at 4.9. So this was built using the Fortune Commodore, and it's kind of known as the E-Series 3 HSV. There's a, a really awesome and kind of simple Aussie nature about this. Really simple chassis, but a bucket load of power. It's really, really, really cool. Um, and this car was actually replaced by the Generation F GTS, which we've got in our game. So if you want to check out the difference, see which one you prefer, make sure you go to the um, Down Under Seasonal Championship in summer to unlock this car. Have a little play with that, and then get your hands on the Generation F GTS as well and see which one you prefer. Um, Cool. Between this. I think one of the fun things about this car, at least where it sits in this update, is that this is actually just a normal production car that you could go and buy, and yet it has um, greater horsepower, higher top speed, higher acceleration than the other two cars, which are both actual track race cars. Um, yeah, another cute thing about this car is that it was actually weirdly released in the UK. Um, under the Vauxhall badge, it was released as the VXR8, um, which is 
pretty unusual. We have had we get very very few V8 cars released over here, and just to take a look at it, it, it is nothing like any car that you would usually see on a British road. <laughs> uh, but that's super cool nonetheless. There is actually one uh, I see driving around Leamington uh, now and then, which again is super weird because this is not a car that you would expect to see driving around in the UK. And here we go. So this one is the 1996 HSV GTSR, only available in yellow, or should I say yellow, as that was the, uh, the name that the Aussies decided to give this particular paint. That's yellow with an AH instead of an OW. Um, 85 of these were built, uh, and this was actually mid-90s, so this was after the requirement that a certain amount had to be made of any touring car before it could be entered into the Touring Car Championship. So they made these really because they, I guess they thought it would be fun. It's basically a race car, very little changes versus the track-going version of it. Uh, and like I say, only 85 were built. Uh, almost all of them sold to Australians in Australia, and nine of them went to New Zealand, and one of them uh, found its way to the UK um, I wish I had an end of that, which I said I knew where it was, but I don't. I imagine it's in some uh, some collector's garage somewhere in the UK. I love that. There's, there's one very rare car in the UK, but because this is Horizon, you can all get your hands on one. And uh, you can get this by getting 50% uh, season completion in spring um, to get your chance of a cool. yeah, really piece of Australian motorsport history. All right. Uh, I think one of the fun things about that car as well is that um, just because it's kind of eight years later, uh, you start to see carbon fiber panels on it, which at the time was actually very, very rare. That would have been reserved for really high-end supercars. But this was a uh, effectively a touring car that was sold uh, to just to not normal folks. Um, and it had like a, well, at least parts of the bodywork were made of carbon fiber, which was super cool and rare for the mid-90s. Gorgeous. Wonderful. Well, those are the three new cars coming to the Series 25 update. But this is my favorite part of the show, where we actually have a look at some